waterfall loop. Basically, it's like an eight mile loop, I think. And it hits a bunch of waterfalls. It's a very popular hike, and I'm having a bit of a later arrival than I would like, but that's okay. I'll probably get there about 9.15. I had to iron out some very minor snafus, but I'm just, you know, very new to all of this. And so, if you saw yesterday's video, I spent the night in this wild, wild camping for the first time, which was great, but it was off this, like, forest road that was, um, like a dirt road, but very, very bumpy. Lots of rocks and roots and, and things. And I took it very slow, and I didn't think, I know, I know that you're supposed to iron, uh, tire down, or air down your tires. <laughs> fully awake yet anyway you're supposed to air down your tires when you're doing any like off-roading but it's like less than a quarter of a mile and I didn't know what I was getting into when I got on the road and I just when I was leaving I was like I don't think it's worth doing the whole like airing down and airing back up I do have a portable um air thing <laughs> I don't even know what you call that air pressure monitor air air something Anyway, I've got one of those, but for that very purpose and just like in case of emergency, but I've never done that before. I've never filled my tires with air. I've never done any of that. Um, I've just never had to. I got out fine this morning. No problem. Took it real slow and got on the road and immediately my tire pressure light goes on on my dash. I'm like, oh no. I pop a tire, what happened? I don't feel anything, it feels fine. So I, you know, like you can toggle through the computer on the dashboard computer. And I saw that my right rear tire was like two points. I don't know what the like word that you use to describe how, how like the number of air you have, PSI, right? Well, it was two less than the other tires, which is not a significant amount. And I was like, oh, okay telling me this right away. This could be like a slow leak. I don't know. That could have popped the seal or something. I don't know how tired it's like. Anyway, so I'm on my way to Silver Falls and I'm like, I need gas anyway. I'm going to stop. And here in Oregon, it's always full service. It's like mandatory full service. So I'm just going like, to ask if the, uh, the gas station attendant can help me um, fill up the tires just using the gas station air and, and just to be safe. And I, you know, I drove for, I don't even know how many miles, maybe like 30 or 40 with my eye on it. And it never changed. It stayed too less. Even though the tires naturally aired up a bit as it got warmer and they've been on the highway. Um, you know, they fluctuate by like two or three points. I don't know. PSI, I don't know. Anyway, and he's looking at me like, lady you're tiring flat but I'm like oh, I just want to be safe and sorry so he filled it up for me which is really nice and now good I'm looking at it right now tire pressure is even all the way around at full psi so I'm just gonna keep my eye on it obviously <laughs> obsessively check it now for the rest of the day uh, just to make sure there is indeed no leak and that was just a natural slight airing down that happened but I need to learn how to use the tire, the air thingy by myself. So that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to learn. And I also need to watch some tutorials on how and when to use the different um, gears and like special stuff that the Forerunner has. I mean, just to, when to use for low, for high for you know like all those things I don't know how to do any of that so I, I'm gonna try to when next time I have good connection try to find some tutorials to teach me because I learn best um, visually I learn best by actually doing it but that's the way that I can figure out how to do it is if I watch somebody else do it so because um, that's gonna be important knowledge to have um, even just for like rainy conditions or eventually icy, like I need to figure out how to put the car in the <laughs> four wheel drive. 
So it did fine just using the, I think it's just like real rear wheel drive generally um, on that s s short patch of off-roading, but obviously it was moderately work for the car because we lost air around here. Anyway, I realize I sound like a complete noob and I am, so I own that completely. But it's just beautiful day. It's a beautiful ride. It's like 40, my car says 46 degrees out, so it's brisk, but it will heat up probably to the low to mid 80s by midday, I'm guessing. I don't know about the weather where I'm going. This is a little bit more towards the east coast. It's still inland, um, but I'm excited for the day. And I'm excited to bring you with me. So yeah, I might actually like bust out my hiking boots today. The one thing I forgot to pack were my hiking socks, which are the same socks. They're just a little bit taller, so they cover the ankle, so it doesn't like rub against my boots, which are ankle height boots. I have one pair, I believe, that I packed when I packed the car originally as like backup. So I think today is the day we bust out the one pair of hiking socks. But I'm not above like wearing them again. I'll just wear them for the hike and then when I when I hiked the um when I did my backpacking trip in the um in the UP at Pictured Rocks last fall, I wore the same socks for four days. And that was fine. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I can wear them again. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate now because there's somebody on my tushy. Uh, so I will, um, I'll, we'll, we'll just go hiking. Let's hike some. Now that we're stopped, I just want to show you. See, if I toggle here. It's, I hope it's focusing on it because it's the GoPro. So you see 3434 on the front two, which are always apparently, according to this at least, one PSI point higher than the back tires, and the left one's 33 and the right one's 32, so it's one less, but it's held that for this whole two and a half hour drive. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. I think. If I'm not mistaken, you're supposed to have your tires rotated every 5,000 miles. I have to verify that. When I take them in to get rotated, if it's still holding, then I'll talk to um, the mechanic about it then um, to see if there's something that needs to happen. But I made it to the trail. I'm going to get myself ready. And even though it's really shady here, I'm still going to put up the shades. I'll just kind of show you. <clears throat> I'm not sure I've shown these. Oh, they're under my mattress right now. Bit of a struggle against the mattress. <laughs> but they're these big old things from WeatherTech. Um, and they're double sided, so when it's cut out, you put the silver side out, and when it's cold out, you put the black side out. I also don't want everybody to see into the truck or anybody not like everybody would come looking in it but you know i just because i have my life <laughs> my road life in here i just want to keep it um secure and so even though we're in the shade it's like double who knows when the sun might hit here so i want to keep it as cool as possible but i also um passenger front don't want it. You know, it's also really helpful so labeled. Um, I just want to keep it private. So. It's real dark now, so I'm gonna get ready and we'll go on this hike. Alright, here we go. It's more crowded than I would prefer, but that's to be expected because it's Saturday and it's 9.40, so... I would have loved to get here first thing, but that was never going to happen. Anyway, it's a nice um, state park. 
and there's it's like a nice cafe to eat at. So maybe later, but I have acquired peanut butter. Anyway, I'm not quite at the trailhead yet, but heading there and gonna do the full loop. So one of the things I do when I notice the trail is a little bit more crowded. It's not like crowded, but you know, I like my piece is I go the opposite way. Um, so generally you go counterclockwise on a loop trail. No, clockwise, excuse me. Um, I'll go the other way. I'll go counter. And that way, you're at least walking behind and like next to less people. But uh, I don't know if it's going to be paved the whole way. It's pretty, pretty nice. I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm guessing this will turn into an actual trail at some point, but look at these beauties. Wow. I'm like three minutes in. This is the most magical forest ever. It's, I feel like there's fairies about. It's that kind of vibe. It's magic. doesn't look like an enchanted forest. Just, you know, I think it's the moss. The moss definitely adds to the enchantment level. because I was trying to cool the car off. Whoo! It got hot. 80 degrees. So, I loved it. It was a great trail. Um, definitely very popular, very worn in trail. On the beaten track, if you will. Um, but, I will say, I definitely made it significantly harder for myself by going counterclockwise. Because if I had gone the right way, clockwise, I would have had a lot less incline and a lot less stairs. But it's okay because I need the incline training anyway. <laughs> but woo, if you're gonna do this trail, first of all, I recommend coming as early as you can. They open at seven, get here then. Second of all, go clockwise. 
don't do what I did and go counterclockwise because that's just not that's just not that's just not good it's just I mean it's fun it was good I'm tired so I'm looking at my tire pressure and it looks good the back two tires are even after sitting here for how long was it four hours I don't know it felt like a long time interestingly my watch says that I completed the hike in three hours and 14 minutes and it was eight and a quarter miles and I had an average pace of 23 minutes 34 seconds per mile which tracks because I stop a lot to film and take pictures my hiking app I think got a little confused and lost the GPS signal or something because it says that I went 9.1 miles which is not right and um, that the time is right yeah I had a 20 minute 57 second pace so it must have gotten off the the um, I don't know it must have gotten off the GPS at some point regardless it was fun now I'm deciding what I want to do with myself it's 115 I don't have a place to stay I don't really have a plan I think I might have found a place to stay for tomorrow I have work to do I have to do editing and I just work better not in a car <laughs> So, and I, it has laundry and I would like to do some laundry. It's up in Washington on the coast too, so I thought that would be really nice. So I think if I can still book that, I will try. I might drive up to this picnic area. I'd really like to stay here and take a load off, but I don't think that's gonna work. So I think I have a little service here. All right, so the plan is I'm gonna figure out where I'm going to attempt to stay tonight. Oh, I'll show you. I bought a couple of things in the gift shop. A postcard and stickers. So I'll just show you that. I got a little sticker for memory keeping and bigger sticker for I don't know what. <laughs> where I'm trying. On my cooler, on the water bottle. I don't know where these stickers are going at. And then I thought this was such a pretty postcard. So pretty. Oh, that reminds me I need to text my parents and tell them I'm alive. Always a good thing to do. Okay, so yes. The plan is I need to make a little lunch. I need to figure out where I'm going, but I don't want to sit in this hot spot in this parking lot. So maybe I'll drive around just Silver Lake here since I've already paid for the parking pass. It was only five dollars by the way for the day, so that's pretty reasonable. I really need a shower. I don't know. Should I just like go over to the campsite and just try my luck? It's supposed to be a really nice campsite. Or do I want to go to the coast today? I'm gonna think about this and I'll get back to you. <laughs> I really lucked out because I came to this campground on a whim. I knew that the all the campgrounds on the coast, on the you know, on, right on the ocean, are booked months in advance. But I was like, maybe there's an opening, and I just looked at Overlander and I picked the one that was like straight across the state from where I was hiking earlier today, and I was like. I'll go there straight west and if that doesn't work out I'll just start going up the coast until I find something well I pulled up and I was like it said campground full and I was like well I'll just go talk to the ranger because maybe they have a suggestion so I pulled up and I was like hey it says you're full and he said oh well I've had some cancellations it's tight and you're like right on top of everybody, but I'm just here for the night and there's showers and I'm right on the ocean. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go check everything out. I think I'm gonna 
leave the car. I, I just closed it up because the sun is really hot right now, but there's a really nice breeze. So when I'm back at the car, um, like, and not leaving anymore, I'll open the windows and put on my um, bug, bug screens and everything, but I'm so excited <sighs> that I got a spot and I can take a shower. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go explore and then I'm gonna take a shower. Well, it's nice sand. Let's have a look. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is where I'm spending the night. Oh. What is my life? Awfully happy. Also, super sad. I have my microphone muffled. Because I'm sure all the cars are empty. But uh, I'm not like, I got service down here. I can come in the morning and do yoga. Sunrise yoga on the beach. I can go for a run on the beach in the morning. I could walk along this beach forever, but I'm trying to be a little bit strategic. Oh, somebody wrote something. Let's do tac toe <laughs> um, on the sand. And I'm thinking shower, cook dinner, and then maybe take like a sunset, walk on the beach, and then put myself to bed. I wake up early and see about maybe doing some beach yoga. Maybe having a little run. My plan for tomorrow is to um, like drive up the coast uh, and into Washington, but staying on the ocean. So probably take Highway 101 up, I guess. I plan to do quite a bit of stopping and walking along beaches along the way tomorrow. So yeah, I guess I should turn around. I just don't want to stop. I don't know if you can tell. I just got back to the car. Two little bunnies. Oh, look at them. They're like, are you gonna eat me? I'm not gonna eat you. It's okay. I'll give you a little tour. I'm in um, B28 and it's just for a car. You could, I could fit it, obviously fit a tent there. But he asked specifically if I was sleeping in my car or not. The ranger did, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a different price or what. But yeah, pretty simple. So the spaces are pretty close, but there's a shrubbery in between. And then I'm pretty lucky because right across there is the bathroom. So I can just pop over there and complete with bunnies. It's amazing what some hot water will do to make you feel so good. That was actually a really nice shower um, for a camp shower. It was like hot water and I didn't have to wait. It was pretty good. So um, I'm making like the same thing I've eaten for the last couple of nights so I'm not going to show the whole kit and caboodle again. I'll just give you a lay of the land. I got my stove out. I've got my propane hookup. I'm going to have some more of this hummus and I told you I'm eating these sausages till they're gone. And that's my trash and olive oil, water, Ooh, I might grab a soda since I have such a close proximity to a bathroom. I'm gonna grab, I have an Oli, two Olipops in my cooler that's been sitting there for four days waiting for me. I'm gonna have, oh, that sounds good. I'm gonna have one of those. Oregon, what doesn't it have? It's the beach, it has mountains, it has the desert. It has everything. I love it. Have a good evening, have a good day, and a good trip.
gonna be good angles ever in the in this adventure. Just oh, this is done. Okay. Turn you off. Good morning. I just had the most fantastic morning. I got up. I think about 5:30. Yeah, and I had like prepped the night before. I had all my stuff ready, so I went right down to the beach with my yoga mat. I had a sunrise yoga practice, which was delightful. Just making my tea now. If you're like, oh, what is she put some real with? Um, this little electric kettle. It's like the MVP here. Anyway, I did my meditation, all that. I actually like started my workout. I did my warm up, which involves core. I haven't done like an actual workout in five days. I mean, I've been hiking, but you know, like a Peloton workout. Let's be specific. I'm gonna let you steep for a minute there. I did core, I did my whole running workout, work warm up, like the whole thing on the beach. I was like the only person there. And then I went on a run and I grossly, grossly underestimated how far it would be. So my plan was I wanted to go this, where we are at Cape Lookout here is kind of like a little peninsula. And so the beach goes all the way to the end of the peninsula. And I was like, looking at the map and I didn't really have any like metrics to go by. I was like, well, it's probably maybe two, two and a half miles down and back. So 45 minute run should, should be fine. It was four miles down, plus some, and back. So I ended up doing a nine mile beach run today. Was I planning on that? No. Did I get it done? Yes. Did I thoroughly enjoy it? Mostly. I was not quite emotionally prepared for that long of a run, but I was really proud of myself for doing it. And I, I don't run straight, it's just, I can't, I, at least, I can, it's just not good for me. So I run walk method. And I don't have my interval timer with me. I don't really follow intervals unless I'm in a race, but I kind of naturally fell into a 40 second run, 20 second walk interval for that whole time. So I ended up averaging about just under 11 minute mile. It's a pretty good pace for me, so I'll take it. Anyway, I've just changed and I'm gonna head out soon. I'm sorry, I'm like all in shadow and weird light. Just making a quick little breakfast. <sighs> um, I need to eat something because I did all that running. I think I showed this when I bought it. I did not realize that I bought not only chunky but super chunk. Let me tell you, don't sleep on the chunky peanut butter. I thought I was smooth only peanut butter. Come to think of it, I'm not sure I've really ever had chunky peanut butter. I bought this by accident and it is delightful. It is delightful. So, 10 out of 10 recommend. I'm heading up to Washington along the coast. So, my plan for today is to stop at several Oregon beaches along the way because where I'm heading in Washington is kind of close to the border of Oregon. And just like walk and stuff and take in the sights. So, I'll bring you along with me and that will wrap the Oregon portion of this journey. But uh, I don't really have a plan. I'm just going to see what there is to see as I go. It's like a four hour drive to where I'm going. I'm going to Ocean Shores and I don't, I can't, I don't um, have to be there till five. So, and it's 10. So I have some time. Okay. trying to find parking. I'm at Cannon Beach. Always wanted to come. It's like an iconic place. It's a cute town. Oh, I am in the hurt locker from that run this morning. Oh my goodness. The hikes had no effect, but running in the sand for nine miles had an effect. Ooh, it's chilly. What is stuck to my necklace? 
I don't know. It's like a little piece of paper. All right, gotta work on that. But, um, oh, I realize this is so smudgy too. I, I left all my cameras in the car because I just couldn't be bothered to carry anything else. Look how cute. Here, I'm gonna flip you around. Look how cute the houses are. They're adorable. So sweet. Really hope I parked in a place I'm allowed to park. It's just kind of far away. But oh my god, I love these houses so much. And then I'm um, gonna get down and way down there is the beach. But I might go into town first. Okay, change the plans for the beach first. dusty. First of all, I think it's important to take care of your car and yeah, she's gonna get a lot more bugs on her, but I don't want the bugs from the last four days to like permanently 
be part of her. Also, just practically to keep the inside clean, especially when I'm opening the hatch, wearing the side doors, that dust was flying in. So, that's why I got her washed. But, uh, yeah, what a really epic day. I'm like beat, man. That sand run really got me. I thought I was going to stop at more points along the northern Oregon coast, but I just was not in the cards today. I spent quite a bit of time looking for parking at Cannon Beach, and um, which is fine. And then I walked around and I had a nice time, and that was really the one spot that I really thought about stopping at, so that works out. But, oh, which, welcome to Washington! Go oh, and let's drive this road. Okay. Anyway. Uh, it was a good day. It was a good wrap on the Oregon adventure. And um, stay tuned for the Washington journey. Thank you so much for hanging out, following along, and take very good care.